Alright. Oh, there we go. That's the juice. That's everything. You can climb <clears throat> into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. Alright. Let's fucking sit in this bitch. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. Just like having your picture taken. Well, with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's funny, but not really. Also, kind of horrifying. <clears throat> oh, I don't need the decibels. Like, there's something sketch about it. And I feel like that, like she's gonna be like, what? There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? What was that? No, I, it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied. And now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Oh, dude. What the fuck? I gotta euthanize myself? Oh, shit, man. Like... Fuck! Man, that's some deep ass shit to be fucking doing right now. I'm trying to. I'm fucking drunk. Oh, man. I don't wanna. Fuck. Cause if I fucking leave him, like, Cass gonna open the fucking doors and get mauled by the goddamn fucker over there. And he's not gonna have any way of getting out. He can't go through this fucking portal way because he's gonna die to that shit. Motherfucker's still beating on the goddamn door. Hold on, let me check that. Okay, maybe not be on the door. But still, there's some scary motherfuckers out there. Like, I'm obviously gonna die. Aw, dude. Fuck, man, this game is fucking dark, bro. Like... Aww... Uh, dude... Yeah, see, that's the thing is, like, I guess if I was gonna go... <clears throat> I'd wanna go in a way in which, like, I'm not being ripped to fucking pieces and kept in, like, a nightmare-like stasis for the rest of my life. Because that's what the WoW does, is it just fucking beats the shit out of you and then puts you in, like, a nightmare stasis. Because basically what you are, Decibels, you're the original, you're like the, um, the legacy scam. So, like, you're the one, like, you're one of the, like, five scans that started it all. And that all the other brain scans are based off of. So basically it kind of gives, like, the generic, like, oh, hey, 
you know, when I think I move my fingers, I do this, when I move my arm, I do this. It's like that's all built into the, the legacy scans, and then everyone else's scans are based off of that. So that's why, like, pretty much your scan is, like, readily available to, like, in everything, because, yeah, that's essentially what you are, is your readily available scan. Fuck your stairs. Alright, let's explore this real fast, though. I don't want to, like, just hop right into this. <coughs> Sounds Genova-ish. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, dude, that is, like, fucking intense as shit, man. Because the thing is, like, like, the whole entire game is centered around the idea of extending your life by, you know, making a copy of yourself so that you'll essentially live on in something else. Like, they can't teleport your, like, you know, brain synapses into something else. Go into your body just decays and dies. So there's no way of really preserving that, so it's... What the fuck? Okay. That's just a straight hold of the abyss, so let's not do that. So, it's the idea that, you know, like, you're trying to preserve yourself and everyone else, but a lot of the decisions I've made is to basically euthanize people, because leaving them in this state seems fucked up. But it's almost like it's kind of fucked up in another way, because I'm essentially denying people's final wish to choose themselves and stay alive. Which, yeah, it's just, it's really... A fucking dark ass theme for a video game. Jesus Christ. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the clamor, please. Sure thing. Yeah, we're obviously not buddies at this point, I'm assuming. Descend. Oh, switch. <laughs> oh, dude, this is this is be spooky as fuck. What happens when we die? Is that even possible? If there's some kind of afterlife, do you think my place is taken? The real me died like a hundred years ago. There's still room for me? And what about the Simon I killed at Omicron? Do you think that'd be more horrifying than just dying? What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who call me an imposter? It's dumb luck, right? I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge, and you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair, and the sun was setting, and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? 
even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Catherine? Kath? Hello, Catherine. What happened? Shit. Why is it making that noise? Can you pull it out? No? No buttons. Pushy thing not doing the stuff. Fuck. Uh. Ah, uh, shit. Well, I guess I gotta go up here. Fuck? The actual fuck is this shit? To push buttons? Hey, I know it's not much, but why are we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. <laughs> should hold. <laughs> Uh Okay. Do I keep going? Oh, do I get sit back down? Does does time freeze when you're not powered? Time is omitted more than anything. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. <sighs> it's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. <laughs> That'd be the worst. <laughs> I fucking- I love the dialogue in this game. If they ever made a second one of this, I'd fucking love this shit. Oh, fuck. What is happening? Oh, fuck! You did it! You did it! I will make preparations. Uh, okay, it's cool, I guess. Bad shit is happening. Well, fuck is right. Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage, knocks you right out. It spoke to me. Looks like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. I didn't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was gonna kill you for sure. I'm glad it didn't. Yeah. Me too. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good. Not sure the climber could take it much longer. 
Okay, so this is the <coughs> Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the Abyssal Plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the other e has been here. We're following in your old footsteps, Kat. When I had footsteps... You could still be down here somewhere. Technically. Don't remind me. Freaks me out. <laughs> Alright, let's head for town and find that art. See, that would be really creepy, knowing that your other self is possibly down here. Meanwhile, you, you know, you have the solace of knowing that, like, you're the only one of you now. Because the other one's dead. 